Scale Modern Enthusiast or not, welcome back on my channel. After completing the work on the engine, in this episode I will be enhancing the brakes of our Peugeot 2005. I will be installing photo etched discs and building the calipers from scratch. I dive right in, because there's a lot of work to do and never enough time. I start by cutting the parts from the screw and then I proceed to clean them. Cutters and files are our alias in this phase. Now we can proceed to remove the original calipers from the disc. I will remove any remaining residues by using a file. I will prepare the photo etch discs by detaching them from the sprue and also clean any residual parts using a diamond file. The discs don't fit too well on the plastic part, it will be necessary to make some additional adjustments using an engraving tool to achieve a perfect fit. Okay, now it's perfect. Now I will properly work down my discs. The process is quite simple. First I will attach double sized tape to a Dremel disc. Next, I will stick the disc onto the tape. Finally, all I have to do is run the disc and scrape it with sandpaper. Very simple, but finally effective. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's move on to the calipers. Of course, I couldn't just glue them as they were. I decided to try and give them a bit more dimensions. I will use different types of plastic to construct the structure of the calipers. This is the raw shape I have obtained, which I will use as a starting point to build the calipers. After verifying that the dimensions were suitable, we begin to refine the calipers by removing the excess material. Now I will measure and proceed to cut our row shape in order to obtain the four caliper. I will now glue the photo etched part onto the row shape. This will serve as a template for me to work with files and achieve the final shape of the calipers. Once we have achieved the desired shape, we can proceed with the coloring. I will use metallic color for the calipers and discs. The right and left tabs will have different color, especially blue and red, as seen in various photos from the Terra. Alright, go ahead and remove the masking and finally assemble the brakes.
I will now highlight all the details with some black Tamiya panel liner. Any excess will be removed using a clear solvent from Ambo. And even the discs are completed. It's incredible how even such small details, given my limited experience in modeling, can be real challenges and almost like models within the model. I hope that once the wheel are mounted, some of the work done on this detail will remain visible. Thank you for joining me in this episode, and I'll see you in the next one, right here in the Rotos Garage. And remember, the collecting boxes is fun, but collecting model even more. Bye bye!